How's it going lads? Marshall here and welcome to another World Cup review on the channel. Today we've got a man who has returned to the team, who is a beast in general, who is crouching behind the World Cup podium, but it's the Brazilian Hulk. He is back in the game and he is back with a bang. That left foot of glory has returned to the game. Today we're going to review him, see how good he is, see how bad he is and just give my opinions across to you guys. Now, some people said with no transfer market reviews are pointless. I disagree with that. I'm still giving my opinion upon the card and if you guys share the same opinion you can judge for yourselves in the comment section below and using them yourselves and stuff like that and it's just like a community and I just want to build up this community I don't want to say just for transferred cards if you can't afford them you can afford them buy them this and the other I want to give my opinion across on these World Cup players these brand new players to all my team so lads if you do enjoy you know what to do bring the hype of this review for the beast himself Hulk let's smash 1000 likes and if you do enjoy and you want to stick around to see more content drop a sub on the channel as well blast i'm gonna keep this one short so let's go into it so here we go with the former Porto man, it is Hulk or Giovanni Vieira de Souza. Let's just call him um, Hulk. But anyways, we're going to review him today and see what he's like in game. He's got four star skills, three star weak foots, high to medium work rates, and he joined me at the, the second stage of the group stage. So the second game in the group stage, where you got to play three games, then you play four games in the last 16, the quarterfinals, the semifinals, and finally the finals. So he's basically with me the whole process. He's got seven goals in six games and four assists so over the course of six games he did get 11 goal contributions like I said four star skills with the shot power that he does possess and you'll see it in just a second it is astonishing this guy can bloody bang them let me just tell you that and you'll see some cracking goals in today's review now for an 83 rated overall card they're not bad stats. They are not bad stats in the slightest. When you look at the strength and what you associate with Hulk is the power, you look at 90 strength, man. That is crazy. He's got 81 stamina and 83 aggression. So in terms of strength, he is very strong in this game and that is down to strength and aggression. Kind of combined. It is great with the card and he is very, very strong and it does come across in games. Sometimes it doesn't, but Hulk, it definitely does. He lives up to the name of Hulk. In terms of shot power, he's got 94 shot power and 90 long shots. And with him being on the right side what do you want to do you want to cut inside and blast it with left foot every single time that's what you're going to see in our first clip right here so we get into it Schmeichel's got the ball he does a throw out and uh, I do get get the ball Thierry Henry uh, in the hook this is what you want to do drive inside get the angle oh my god man the power on that that was 99.9999 percent in terms of power on the 100 percent skill that was cracking man that was absolutely cracking in terms of smashing the ball this guy can smash it like the best of them on this game. Now, I'm saying the best of them on this game when I compare him to like Cristiano Ronaldo or someone like that. Look at the trajectory of that strike, man. That was crazy if I said that word right, but that was a great strike there from Hulk right in the top corner. It was always rising and it was just precise. And I love that about the card. Look at this. It's a swing and it's a great finish. You might see that as a normal finish, but <laughs> I put a lot of power on that and he just clipped it with the outside of his boot and it was perfect as you'll see in the replay. So with this one being short, let's just get into his pros and all that straight away now obviously shot power it's 94 and you can tell that in game because he blasted every single time look at that man he just slices across the ball and it is perfect so he's finishing in terms of scoring goals it's not too bad he's finishing his 80 in terms of stats his composure is 77 but he will score goals and i can kind of guarantee that as he takes a heavy hit there gets back on his seat and he will get the chance to score look at the run and the movement on this card is great he makes the run in behind and he does finish off yet another chance inside the area so in terms of pros then you got shot power we have long shots you've seen it in the first clip he can bang them like uh, like the best of them on this game like i did say strength wise it has to like the power that he generates on this game not only does he have power behind the left foot he's got power behind his whole body because he is very strong in this game he stretches to get that one into the net he's got four star skills massive prone itself especially for someone that's kind of stocky and strong and can hold off the ball that's what you want to do with this card as well four star skills i mean utilize those four star skills and do the stop and turn do the scoop turn allow players to commit and get close to you like like body to body and just turn them turn them very easily and Hulk can do that within a blink of an eye he really really can when you look at the rest of his pros you've got the movement on the card the movement is great and I know you can't see them right now but now you can the movement on the card is fantastic he makes the right runs the right time great worker his height to medium his tackle position in his 82 fan bloody tastic and the cons with the card when it comes to dribbling 
he's strong, he's quite fast, but that's about it. His agility sucks, his balance is bad. Uh, speaking of bad balance, by the way, his balance is actually 59. So that is very, very bad in the card. So in terms of like doing those kind of maneuvers and stuff like that, turning, yes, he's powerful, he can hold people off. At the same time, he's not gonna have a good dribble on him. He's gonna have a bad dribble, and it's gonna get away from his body sometimes. It's gonna be off balance in terms of dribble sometimes. And of course, the freestyle weak foot. The freestyle weak foot's not great, meaning if he's on the right hand side, which he is, obviously being a right winger or a right forward or a right mid, what you gotta do, it's cut inside every single bloody time. It gets monotonous, it gets readable, but that's what you gotta do with Hulk. And you've gotta power people off the like the, the direction you're going in. If they're in your way, just power them out of the way because he's got the strength to just say, look mate, you're in my way, bang, you're on the ground. But anyways guys, in terms of the overall rating and all that, we'll just get into it. Like I said, uh, this is a short review today. I'll do a longer one maybe later on tonight or tomorrow morning. Uh, by the way, the support on the Road to Glory is fantastic right now. So thank you to everyone uh, that's visited the Road to Glory. If you missed tomorrow, like today's episode, tomorrow's episode, if you missed today's one, the link to that will be at the end of the video. So with Hulk then, uh, in terms of the overall rating, he's getting an 8.5. That's a fair rating. He's a good card in this game and he'll be used by many on this game as well the enjoyment rating what his strength the four star skills and the shot power that he does possess is the very fun card and he's not no kind of slouch by any stretch of the imagination he's actually got decent pace and his pace is 82 uh, with 83 acceleration and 82 sprint speed in terms of a starter there could be better right wingers than Hulk. I'm just saying that. So in terms of starter, he's not quite starter level because there will be better ringers. Ringers? I don't know if they're good on the calls and stuff like that. But there'll be definitely better wingers than Hulk on this game in terms of super sub. I reckon you need a bit more pace to be a super sub and like give that instant burst of uh, acceleration, sprint speed and just uh, bring the game to life. I don't think Hulk would do that. He'd grab the game by the scruff of the neck and just use his power and all that. But um, yeah, I don't think he's got the pace to be that instant impact in the game. The similar players haven't used that many yet, so I can't give you similar players right now until I've used a great batch of cars. But lads, that's gonna be it for this review. I hope you have enjoyed. It's a short one, I know it's a short one, but you guys seem to enjoy the short ones and the long ones, so I'm giving you the best of both worlds. So if you have enjoyed this one, smash a like in it for Hulk. Literally, Hulk smash that like for, like that thumbs up button because, yeah, why not, lads? Why not? 1000 likes is your target. Subscribe to the channel if you are new around here. And as always, I will catch you all next time.